What is that indeed? Winnipeg-based UFOlogy Research has released its annual report and more than 1,200 UFO sightings were reported in 2015. That's the second highest number of sightings on record. Quebec led the way with more than 35% of the reports. There were 97 sightings in Montreal, 78 in Toronto, 69 in Vancouver. For more on this, I'm joined by Daily Planet's Dan Riskin in studio. All right. What do you make of this survey? Oh, I, I am love such a it. skeptic. Oh, do oh, yeah. you? No, you can be a skeptic for sure. That's appropriate. But it, they're releasing a ton of really interesting data. And so these are the kinds of things where you get to, they actually give the numbers, they have tables, you can put it into Excel spreadsheets, you can graph things. And so, you know, you, people see UFOs. People see things in the sky that they, they feel they can't explain, they don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's an unidentified flying object. So far, everything's above board. Now, how you interpret those is where things can go off the deep end and get really airy-fairy, but that's not what this report does. This report is simply a statement of how often things are sighted. And what's neat when you look at the data is that the number of sightings has been steadily increasing since they started doing this in 1989. It's a wobbly graph, but it's steadily going up, especially since about 2002. There's been a steady increase, and this year has the most of any year in the past except for one year that is a total outlier there's one year 2012 mm -hmm. where the number of sightings was weirdly high it was really? it was roughly a third higher than it should have been according to that graph yeah. and people think that might be because it was the, remember the Mayan calendar was coming to an end and people thought the world might end yeah people might have been looking to the sky oh, or right. somehow so spotting more yeah looking for something looking to come down something. and destroy the yeah, planet or drones something. Um, drones are a great theory. Now, I thought about that, um, and and I know, you know, d there are more drones flying around, and, and those have lights on them, and that could be flying around, but you don't see this weird increase in the data in the last maybe three, four years, that because drones have sort of really increased in popularity in the last five years. I can tell because I've been working on Daily Planet for about that long, right. and drones weren't really commonplace when I started, and now they seem to be everywhere. Yeah. But you don't see a giant spike in the last little while. This really seems to be a continuation of the trend. And when you look at the actual reports, um, it's interesting because about more than half of them are just lights in the sky, but the most common color for the lights is orange. The most common time for those reports to be to come out, they see them around 9, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and they have a rating scale of how weird they are. And so most of them, you know, might be just a misidentified airplane or something like that. But some of them are, you know, hard to explain. They're boomerang shaped or they're oval shaped with a different color in the middle. And yeah. you just don't know exactly what it is. Okay, so what's your explanation? Well, so there are a few different things that could explain this. One is that there are aliens that are visiting the Earth. I think that we need more evidence before we go with that as our strong contender hypothesis. I like that. The scientist in you is coming out and looking it's, it's for a, It's a plausible proof. hypothesis, yeah. but it requires a lot of data to support it. It's <laughs> not the best, the easiest hypothesis to support the data. Another possible thing is um, uh, more government test flights, more weird things up in the sky. Who knows what they're doing over Quebec where most of these sightings occurred. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe more people that are unaware of what lights or Venus can look like. It's actually quite common for pilots to misidentify Venus as a UFO because it's so, so darn bright, bright yes. especially if you get into a dark sky. And, you know, it might also be just more people looking up, more people paying attention to the surroundings, and maybe they're spotting things. Um, but uh, it's, it's interesting, and there's something to it, and so it's, it's always worth having a look. It, it always is, and it's always a great uh, conversation with you, too. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Dan Riskin of Daily Planet.